Hello again. I was asked to simulate the symbol pendulum. And this is what we will do now. To start, let's select a working directory. And I will place a folder on my desktop. And then a new folder. And I will call it symbol. Then start a new part. I will call it frame. And for the system of units, I will use this one, millimeter newton second, part solid. Then start a sketch on the front. And let's hide the planes and the axes and the coordinate system. And now I'll start with a circle and I will set this to 100. And then another circle. And this one to be 125. Now select tangent and select this line and the circle. Then let's set this to 250. So this distance should be 250 divided by 2. And this one here should be 50. Then snap to the quadrant point here and draw a line. And once again, snap to this point and draw another line. Then select delete segments and delete all of these. You can add some fillets if you want. The most important part here is this diameter, which is 100. So once done with this, hit OK. And now extrude this. I will select midplane and I want this to be 50. Then hit OK. And here I need to, and here I want to define a material. So I will go to legacy materials and this will be steel. Now we just defined the frame, save this part, then start a new part and let's call this pendulum. Then from here, make sure to select this option, then hit OK. And I will start on the front. The circle should be 100. And we need to extrude this. And let's say 75. And then select plane, start a sketch here, and we need an offset here of 25. And make sure to reverse the direction, then hit OK. Now if you show the planes, we have this one here. Let's edit the definition of this one. And here we need to enter minus. Then hit OK. After that, select this plane and start a new sketch. And here, draw a circle. And this should be 50. The distance between it and between this cylinder should be 350. And now, Pick a line and draw a vertical line, then select Trim Entities or Delete Segment, sorry, and delete this. Once done, select Revolve and then we need to select this line.
now once again select datum one and simply just to draw a line one of the assumptions when dealing with symbol pendulum system is that the rod here is massless and that's why we only placed a line you can even neglect this step because ptc creo automatically will recognize this as one part even if you don't connect them with a geometry they will be considered as one part anyway so once done with this save it and now start a new assembly i'll keep the name and here first of all we need to get the frame so here's the frame this frame has zero degrees of freedom so it should be default then rigid and after that go to assembly pendulum 2 and here let's drag this now select pin to define a pin connection you need two cylindrical surfaces or axes and then you need to eliminate the displacement so if i select this face and this face then this body will rotate here but we still have one problem which is that it also translates in this direction so you need to eliminate this translation to do so simply select this face let me show you what happens here so we already defined the axis alignment and now we need to eliminate the translation so i selected this face and this one now the translation is eliminated and as you can see here i only have one degree of freedom once done with this, hit OK, and now I'll select the view normal, then I'll select this face. If you select a drag component, you can drag this pendulum. Now, let's go to Applications, Mechanism, and then we need to give it an initial condition, let's say somewhere here. Then go to then we need to define the gravity so in this case it's correct it's in the minus y if you have it in a different direction you just need to play around with these values here it should be one or minus one in any of these directions once done let's go back to shaded with edges and here select mechanism analysis i need a dynamic analysis I will increase this time to 200 for example and for the external and for the external loads i'm only interested now in gravity then select run as you can see the system won't stop so now once again let's select run and i will stop it right away go to measures and here i need to define a new measure select new and then i need to find a position let's say of this point and i'm interested in the x component i need to see the change in position in the x component of this pendulum then hit ok make sure to select this analysis to select this measure then select this option here you can see the change in the x direction which is this one and we have this response of the system now if we would like to add some damping to the system one source of the damping will be friction if we have a friction here between these two bodies then the system will have some damping and after some time this ball will stop now to define a damping or to define a friction to be more specific click this connection and here you will find edit definition then go to dynamic properties and here when it comes to the friction you need to define the value of the static friction coefficient usually it's higher than the dynamic or the kinematic one so i will set it to 0.3 and for the kinematic one i will set it to 0.2 and here's a very important factor which is the value of contact radius so 
We know that this radius is 50 since this diameter is 100. So you need to set this to 50. And here SOLIDWORKS will read that we have a friction at 50 millimeters away from this axis. Then hit OK. And now, once again, go to normal tool. Sorry. Let's have it in this way. And now, I already have some initial condition because it's not at rest. Then select mechanism analysis, dynamic. I need to increase the time. And for the external loads, select the gravity and make sure this time to enable all friction. Then hit run. I believe the coefficients we defined are very high and that's why let's check the response we had started here and it's just and it stopped so now select this one and here let's set this to point 0.1 and this to point 0.05 then hit OK, and this time, let's drag it somewhere here. And once again, mechanism analysis, dynamic, set this to 100. And we need to enable the gravity and the friction, then run. Hit OK, and let's check the response. I think two are selected, so I only want this one. And here we have it, because it stopped already here. So once again, let's go back here. And I will set this to point 0.1. And I'll keep this point 0.05, then hit OK. And this time, I'll drag it somewhere here. Then run the analysis once again as you can see now it almost stopped in an equilibrium position now go to measures select the last study you did with measure and hit ok and here we have the response and you can tell that we have some damping here until the system went to the zero I hope this answers your question my friend, if you have any other questions about this please let me know. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.